Hello everyone, and this is a question where we're going to use double and compound angles. It's a grade 12 lesson, but these double and compound angles, they'd be on a Cartesian plane. How would you know that you have that kind of a question? When you're given a question like this one, they say, given sine 40 degrees is equal to A, determine without the use of a calculator and showing all steps, each of the following in terms of A. So when they say in terms of A, they mean in your answer, you still have A. The first one is sine minus 50, and then it's cos 80, and then sine 85. So when you get this question, this kind of a question, you need to draw a Cartesian plane, and always the ratio will give you two sides. You'll be always, in every question, you'll be required to calculate the third one. So let's see in this question which one must you calculate. Uh, when you draw the Cartesian plane, it depends on the question. Uh, in some question, they'll give you a quadrant where you must draw. They'll give you a restriction. If they don't give you a restriction, draw it in the first quadrant. So you'll have your angle here, and the ratio is sine. So sine is opposite, so it means it's A over hypotenuse. It means it will be 1. And then it means we, we, we must find, we have our Y and our R. It means we must find our X in this question. This is what I meant, that in every question, you're going to be required to find 1. So, you're going to have r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. In grade 12, they don't give you marks for this. But you're not going to get marks if you don't do it. It's 1 squared is equal to x squared plus a squared. So, your answer will be 1 squared is 1 minus a squared is equal to x squared. Then you square both sides. You will have x always plus minus because we are using a square root 1 minus a squared. You can't get a root of this one because they are terms. You have a minus and they are terms, they are not multiplying. So you look at the quadrant where you are. Here we are in the first quadrant. How is x in the first quadrant? x is positive. Therefore, it means our x is equal to positive. 1 minus a squared. You take that value, you put it in your diagram. x is 1 minus a squared. Then you're going to answer your question using the diagram. Right. There's an easier way of calculating without, because in grade 12 you don't get marks for it. Always, when you are looking for the one that is not a hypotenuse, when you are looking for a hypotenuse, it's going to be the two things and then a plus between them. When you are looking for the other sides, that is not the hypotenuse, it's going to be the two things squared minus between them. So um, if you can, if you are used to doing that, you can do it that way. So let's look at number one. Number one is sine minus 50. Okay, you have to reduce this first before... You use it in your diagram. Minus is the fourth quadrant. How is sine in the fourth quadrant? Negative. So it will be negative sine 50. Now, when you look at my diagram, I don't have a 50. But I can get a 50 because this is a co-ratio of 50 is 40. And in my diagram, I have 40. So the co-ratio of sine 50 is sine is minus cos 40. Don't lose the minus, okay? Then I'm going to look for cos 40 in my diagram. I don't lose the minus. I go to the diagram. What is cos? Cos is adjacent or x over r. So it means it's minus 1 minus a squared. This is my x. This is my r. Let's look at the next one. The second one is cos 80. Okay. You need to find something that's in the diagram. So 80 is 40 times 2. So it means it's a double angle. So I can have cos 240 degrees. Okay? And then with cos, I have, let's look at the formula sheet. When you have cos, you have actually three double angles with cos. And with this question, I'll suggest that you don't use the one that you're gonna that is gonna require you to go to the diagram twice. This one, the first one that has a cos and a sign. Take one of these that don't have a cos or a sign, and then in this question, it would be easier for you if you choose the one with a sign because the original question was given in sign and you don't have to do the ratios. Okay, so I'll choose that one. So with double angles, you don't, you, you, you choose, you look at the, you don't just pick any. You look at the question and then at any changes with a particular question. You look at the question and say, which one will work better? So in this question, one, the sign one will, will be better.
1 minus 2 sine squared. My double angle is 40. Okay. Then it's 1 minus 2. What is sine 40? Sine is A. So it will be A squared. Because the ratio was, was squared, whatever answer I write, it will be squared. So my final answer will be 1 minus 2A squared. But the third one, we have sine 85 degrees. Okay, with these questions, you always start reduction formula. So if the reduction formula doesn't work, a uh, double angle, like we did with number two, double angle. If double angles doesn't work, you 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 have to do compound angles. Uh, compound angles they are compounded, so they are not nice to work with. Try to use double angles first before you can use compound angles. But with eighty-five, I can't use any of that. I can't reduce. I can't use double angles. So it means is a question where I must use compound angles. With compound angles, it's either you find the two angles that are in the diagram, forty and fifty. Because 40 and 50, some angles of a triangle, this angle is 50. You try to make compound angles with the two diagrams. Or, if you can't, you use a special angle. You figure out which special angle will add or subtract and give you 85. In this question, it's 45. Sine 45 plus 40. 45 plus 40 will give me 80. So sine 45 plus 40, that will give me 80. Now, this is a compound angle. Now you have to compound it. But because I have a special angle, I will have specific value. And because I'm using 40, I'll use the diagram. So you can't use numbers that will not are not special angles and they are not in the diagram. You won't be able to find the answer. When you're dealing with a compound angle, please go to your formula sheet and find the compound angles. The compound angles are around there. Then find the one that has a sine and a plus. This is the one. So it's sine. Sine is sine cos sine cos and there's a there's the same sign between them because it's a plus it's gonna be a plus now let's go back to your problem and compound it so it will be sine 45 cos 40 plus sine 40 cos 45 okay sine 45 is 1 over root 2 cos 40 we go to the diagram cos is adjacent or x which is 1 minus a squared over hypotenuse which is 1 we don't have to write that plus sine 40 sine 40 back to the diagram sine 40 is a over 1 which is a and then cos 45 cos 45 is 1 over root 2 okay so here i'll have 1 minus a squared over root 2 plus a over square root 2 the, the denominators are the same. I can write it as 110. I can have square root 2 and then 1 minus a squared square root plus a. This is your final answer. Okay, just practice, practice, practice. Um, it, it does get better. Thank you for watching. This is the end of our lesson.